Okay, so DIYs aren't just for decoupage and malachite. Here with some delicious and easy baby food DIYs is our favorite holistic nutritionist, Joy McCarthy. Welcome Hello. back. Hey, Joy. Hey, guys. Always good to have you here. Yeah, so we're talking here. All of, oh, we're talking all about baby food. Now, yes, why not so just fun. buy the baby food? Well, it's a super nourishing way yeah. to get nutrients into your baby when you make it yourself. Mm -hmm. It's less expensive as well. It's Don't cheaper? we all love the, Yes, absolutely. And then you we also just, know what's in the food, right? You know exactly what's in the food. Sure. No preservatives, yeah. no salt, no sugar. You're putting exactly what you want in there. All right, now before we get to these delicious recipes, your baby, Vienna, couldn't be yeah, here. No. So we got the next best thing in case <laughs> testers. We have our babies, our baby Jesse exactly. and Steven. <laughs> Yay! And tasting <laughs> all of the food that we're going to be making today, right? Perfect Matches. with the outfit. Yeah. yeah. All right. We're and we're going to be fashionable. looking for you guys. Tell us if you like it or if you don't like it. Absolutely. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right. So let's yes. get started. What's the, what's the first thing you're going to make, Joy? So the first thing we're doing are purees. Mm -hmm. We've got a sweet pea mint dip. Delicious. Uh, well, I call it a dip because you know what? When I'm making it, I totally dip crackers into it or carrots and <laughs> eat so it. So you eat your baby food so, like I totally do. And look at the difference. I couldn't get over this. Yeah. The store bought. Have you ever tasted this stuff? Uh, yeah, it tastes not very I good. Give However, it not anyway. you know what? There are some good baby foods that you can yeah. buy. I definitely you know want to put it out there. I don't make a hundred percent of Vienna's food. Mm. Some food I do buy yeah. because there's great options. Now you just that example of the, the color difference. Yeah, now, when phytonutrients. Sits, let's be real. When food sits on a shelf, it's because exactly. there's something in there. Is that why there's a color difference? Ah, uh, for and sure. And also the vitamins, like vitamin C, helps to keep this beautiful green, rich color. Mm -hmm. So that is going to denature when it's sitting on the shelf for a really long time. Time. All right, so have you guys had a taste yet? We have it in front yeah, of us. Yeah, let's good. see okay. what they think. Are you ready, baby Steven? Uh, <laughs> Are you ready? <laughs> the airplane is ready. <laughs> this is my future being fed by a hot nurse. <laughs> I can see this coming. All right. Open up. Do you like it? Wow, that's you really like sweet. You like it, right? It's tasty. Oh, you like it? So good, yay! That's very good. It's really okay. sweet. <laughs> Tastes so sweet there. Yeah, a lot there. It was a good mouthful. Ooh, you like it? That's good. Yeah. Oh, yay. That's good because I tasted really the one that's good. in the jar. Yeah, you didn't like that. Oh, yeah. No, not it's, good. Not, it's not good no. at all. It doesn't taste the same. Okay. Okay. No. <laughs> What do you do if your baby doesn't like the... the yeah, food? that's a great question. Oh. So I go by like the three, try it three times. Oh. Um, if three days in a row your baby still doesn't like it, yeah. then wait a couple weeks and reintroduce it. I feel like so many moms get, and dads get really discouraged when yeah. their baby doesn't like it. Yeah. But just try again. Oh yeah, next, next we have up. apple This sauce. smells so good. Oh, it's so it's got good. Got apple, fresh nutmeg. Like, yep, so the applesauce, and it's so easy to make. Mm -hmm. And if your baby doesn't have a sense of tummy, the other thing is you can actually leave the peel on. Uh, when you mash it up. And that's uh, healthier? Oh, absolutely, because you're getting oh. a lot of fiber, too. When do you know that you should start feeding your baby food? Mm -hmm. That's a great age? question. So it's usually by six months, but you mm -hmm. want to make sure that your baby can sit upright, hold their head steady on their own, mm -hmm. and sit in a high chair and with a back support is fine. Yes. And also, uh, you want to make sure that, like I said, baby is at least six months of age. But if your baby is able to sit up and hold their head up, yeah. then you can actually introduce food a little bit earlier. Okay. And Joy, this one's okay to do with the back of a fork. Like this one, I put yes, in a food totally. processor to make super smooth. Yep, but absolutely. But this is okay just like to mash with a fork. Exactly, that's perfect. Super, super the other thing I want to mention too is that when you're eating, when mom and dad are eating, if yep. your baby is constantly watching you yeah. and grabbing at your food, that is a another clear sign they're ready. They're but ready. not that sign alone. They have to also be holding their head up and yeah. be able to sit up in a high chair. And if you're really questioned, maybe you should just talk to your pediatrician. Yes. Yes. Right? yes. By the way, Perfect. we tried the applesauce. We good, both right? gave oh, it a... You guys liked it. Happy baby. Happy baby. Happy baby. They liked it. You... They liked it. Yeah. Yeah. I know, it's so good. All right. <laughs> so let's go on to our next, our next recipe. What else are we making here for baby? Okay, so we've got here sweet potato wedges. Mm -hmm. yep. So if you're making these for mom and dad, mom and dad can have the wedges. Or if you have a toddler, yeah. and then for a baby, you can puree them. So we're not going to put any seasoning on them yet. I was just uh, about I would, to say, can yeah. you add anything? Totally. Yet, so I right? would do the seasoning after. Mm -hmm. But depending, if your baby has been introduced to a whole bunch of foods, then you could actually put a little bit of cinnamon oh. or paprika. Uh, you definitely could do that. 
You have to really listen to your baby. So a little but bit I'm of oil to get it cooking, to yes. get it roasting. Yeah. And I love roasting. this trick where you take it out after, it's still neutral, there's no salt, pepper, and then after you could take the leftovers and season it for the exactly. grown Exactly, mm -hmm. yeah. exactly, season I mean, after. That's we have no seasoning and yet we're very so delicious. delicious. You I like it? This is delicious. You guys like that one as well. Like yes. so far. You know why? It's, um, it's interesting because I guess as you get older, we so over season our food yes. and, yeah. and, and so much so salt. alter it. This is just what the vegetable is. Yeah. Right. Right? Real so food would yeah. be so good. Yeah. Real simple whole food. All right, now I have Delicious. to ask she here's least favorite question. Can, well. we, can we freeze it? Yes, and I recommend Always. to do that because yeah. then you can make double batches. And this is where you can save yourself time because the mamas mm. and dadas out there thinking, but Joy, mm. I don't have time. Yeah, but, but you know, making one batch is the same amount of time to make two batches exactly. or three batches. Exactly, same amount of cleanup, so just make a double batch. And then you're really enjoying yeah, that. Yeah, everyone's oh, loving them. You just pepper tasted pepper. The, the mashed yams, and I'm... You didn't like that? Not a little much. something? It salt we, we like, yeah. like these. Does it need the yeast or Maybe a little else. bit of cinnamon. I put cinnamon mm. on Vienna's uh, sweet potatoes. Okay. She likes them. She loves it. And she loves curry, too, by the way. She We're likes talking. curry. Yes, wow. loves oh, it. Okay. And I did that at a like young age. Much. Like, when it's I started good. giving her eggs, yeah. I would scramble up eggs, because that's an easy finger food, yeah. and I would sprinkle with turmeric and cumin. Which is and good and healthy for her. Yes, so good for them. And she can handle it. loves it. just a little bit, though. Yeah, just a little bit. She loves it. So let's move on to our next food, our next recipe. I've got this. I blended it and put it over here. This is the oh, sweet yeah, potato the blended. Ice cube and this is where you can freeze it. Ah. So I want to show yeah, you. Yeah, so easy. I want to show you how this I do it. This is the kind of baby with the sophisticated palate that likes the yeah. nursery we just saw, right? Had, right? Oh, exactly. Okay, so now let's move on to our frittata. Now, when I think DIY baby food, frittata is not to mind. Maybe Cinco de Mayo <laughs> I'm having frittatas, but not for baby food. I know, it so doesn't seem like great? an obvious oh. one, but eggs mm -hmm. are a total brain food for little ones. Wow. And they're great for little hands. So, you know, awesome for toddlers as well uh, but I just love eggs so much and eggs mm. should be a lot of people think you know eggs and dairy as being an allergenic I food. I was just thinking yeah that. for sure so new evidence has actually shown us that we need to introduce these allergenic foods before one. Before yes, one? Yes absolutely really? before one because it actually has reduced the incidence of allergies when we introduce foods sooner. Okay but what if so, I have allergies? Say okay, I have a peanut a allergy question. as a parent. Yes should so I then that? I would talk to your healthcare practitioner about mm -hmm. that because you may need to wait a little bit longer um, depending on how soon Or maybe we can just sit in the emergency room and then give yeah, the baby you know, the eggs. <laughs> yes I know so many <laughs> parents I know so many parents who do that with peanuts. Are when you they serious? like pull up to like the emergency at the hospital they don't go in they're just like give their kid the peanut butter. Just to make sure. Well, it's very serious, yeah. those allergies. Oh, very, very serious. Yeah, so, so definitely talk to your doctor this if you have severe. Idea. We have yeah, time, but it's so great for little frittata. Bake it for a few minutes, that's Do you guys it. like What it? do you guys think about the frittata? Oh. They like it, really? I love it. Yeah. Uh -huh. We love and it. And this is, you know, yeah. this is something that you eat as parents, too. Wow. Like, my husband and I, whenever we have frittatas, mm. it's great, because we have it, and I'm going to have one, too. Mm. And then uh, Vienna has it, too. And how long do we cook these for? About 25 yeah. minutes. And then let them sit and Depending cool. how big, like, you want a baby depending frittata? how big the muffin cup is. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, this mm. is absolutely delicious. delicious. Thank oh. you so much. My Hopefully pleasure. Some great tips to the moms out there. Are you passionate about living your best life and having a clear mind and a healthy body? Or do you just want to find out what your date actually thinks about you? Subscribe when you get all the lifestyle and dating tips you need to live life.